Alright, so Valentine's Day King is one of those awkward units who appears every once in a while and who's sort of meant to buff a specific team, only that that team doesn't have any really good units that can sort of work with this kit yet, and we only have to like hope that in the future we will get one of those units. One such unit that comes to mind is of course Excalibur Arthur, who sort of buffs the human teams at a time when humans weren't really that great, and then the very next patch we got a really, really good festival human unit. If you remember a small little unit named Purgatory Ban, who just completely destroyed the meta and completely changed the landscape of what PvP in the game meant. Now what makes King extra awkward though is that his passive sort of wants him to be in two different teams. Now one of the teams is of course a fairy team because for every fairy unit on the battlefield, or fairy ally rather, it's going to increase his attack related stats by 10% and make him deal 10% more damage. Then he also increases applicable allies basic stats by 8% for each applicable ally and those are 7 deadly sins units so th the units that have the 7 deadly sins characteristics such as Meliodas, Ban, Merlin King himself of course, the one Escanor and stuff like that. And it's a really awkward passive because for one he's the only fair with a 7 deadly sins characteristic and he only buffs strength, HP and speed attribute allies so red, green and blue units that are 7 deadly sins units. And that it, to me is, is a little bit awkward. He does also have a final bit here in his passive which increased the hero's damage dealt by 30% when attacking debuffed enemies. Uh, he's also sort of based on the old festival king so he does have an abyss type ultimate which you kind of need to dupe out minus only 2-6 so it doesn't really do all that much but it does kind of work. So the awkward team we're gonna place him in is sort of a hodgepodge between like 7 deadly sins units and very units and I'm sort of opting to have Zeldris in the back rather than Ban in the back because I kind of want to play a around with debuffs this sort of team is of course gonna play around a lot with the debuffs because we do have Elaine here who's of course gonna place a flower petals of the sick tree debuff on the enemies which when you attack with a fairy unit is gonna apply shock to them and uh, whenever the enemies have a shock her holy relic makes it so that they take 30% more damage so if we can sort of attack with her first turn then attack with king's aoe perhaps we can deal a lot of damage that's sort of the general idea behind that whenever king also attacks because of his holy relic is gonna apply bleed of course he's also gonna apply poison and those three things can sort of deal a lot of damage. I've actually played this in geared and with Elaine's ultimate at 1-6 against two enemies and both of them had bleed and shock. She did 900,000 damage with a 1-6 ultimate. That's just because that's a release ultimate and it sort of deals extra damage per poison, bleed and shock. She's also gonna increase our HP related stats but what makes this sort of extra frustratingly annoying is, is she's not really gonna buff Diane's HP related stats and I'll maybe make a video on this uh, later because whenever Diane taunts she of course gains HP related stats. These are a yellow buff. Uh, what Elaine provides is a blue buff but they do not stack. And of course Zeldris in the back is gonna increase our basic stats by 24% because the enemies are of course gonna have a lot of debuffs so yeah let's just try it out see how it goes. We're gonna do ungeared first then maybe we'll do gear. Maybe I'll swap out the teams a little bit. We'll see what sort of teams I can make around this, but alright, that's kind of an annoying team. Uh, not gonna lie, I think I'll do a actually a regular one of these and we'll just do that. It's a bot though, so maybe we can actually win with the king. I don't know though because the one Eskenor does hit quite hard and King because he's an old unit he does have like old unit stats he's really squishy. Although he kind of does have new unit stats also I guess because his CC if you max him out is, I believe, like at least in the top 10, maybe like top 9 or top 10 or something like that in terms of like how much CC he gets. So he might have a lot of HP, but it feels way too squishy. I tested him out uh, on stream like two days ago. And if you caught that, you kind of know exactly how squishy he is. Um, but yeah, as you can see, they took a lot of damage from the bleed and the, and the shock there, which was kind of nice here because they have the pedal there. I'll apply the shock again and then I'll do an AOE. And I guess we, uh, someone will get resurrected. I'm pretty sure it's going to be Gopher. So we just try to kill him again. I want him to rank up the Eskinor. Oh. Yeah, because he got resurrected, he doesn't have any anymore what's called debuffs on him. And of course, King is disabled. We still have our Diane. She can still taunt. And we'll just see what he does. He's ranking up the Eskinor. It's gonna be a gold AoE attack, isn't it? Finger poke, alright. I think Diane can survive this. It is on gear though. Oh yeah. It's kind of good. I also want to show like the buff. Uh, Diane is only going to get one part of the buff, which is the uh, instantly recovers 20% of damage taken. So I'm going to do this, this, and I will just attack the gopher just to remove his ultimate. We're also going to get our Diane ultimate. But just look at Diane's buffs here. So yeah, she got only one of the buffs because she already had the other one as a yellow buff. 
and that's really awkward that's really weird there are of course like buffs you can apply uh, one of them is a taunt and there are units like I think Deldry that can apply taunt to other units with a blue buff card so you can replace Deanne's taunt with Deldry taunt and then I think Deanne loses her passive so let's just see if against this bot that we can't like get a king victory screen I'm pretty sure Deanne is gonna just completely crush here I will just do this then we'll attack Ban twice I don't think that's gonna kill and then we'll sort of try to make it so that King is able to kill, so we can at least get a victory screen with him. Oh god, it's gonna kill, isn't it? Oh well. Alright, I got to go first again. I forgot to hit record, so I hit it a little bit too late. Um, that also feels like a bot. Are there no players playing at the moment? It's 7 a.m. Or is it p.m.? So, uh, 19.012 uh, at, at, in the middle of the day here in Sweden, so Central European time. Yeah, we'll just do this. Of course, they're gonna get a shield. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit annoying, but that's also one of the weird things. Like, of course, they, they've done this before where they, they release a uh, Holy Relic for a unit and then they release a new a new unit for that uh, character. So they did this with King, they gave him a Holy Relic and then they released this new King. Uh, they did it with Chandler, they gave him a Holy Relic and then they released a new Demon Chandler. I think they did the same thing with Kusak, like gave Kusak a Holy Relic and then they released a new type of Kusek unit, so they must certainly done that before. Here, I think I'll just do this, and we attack the DN like that. This just to give us a little bit of extra healing. That sort of works out really well with Tarmi Link, actually. It's just gonna heal so much more. She's already getting the HP-related stats from this, which also works with Tarmi Grace. It's just gonna heal her more. But here we can actually get a Gold King attack card, and I think that's what we're gonna aim for. We're gonna get the DN ult, and we're gonna get the Gold card. And just attack once into the DN. Just the poisoner, apply shock and bleed, I believe. No, it's it's only bleed with AoE attacks. Alright, never mind. We'll do this and in case for whatever reason Dian kills the other Dian, which I doubt. The attack can go on to the enemy king. Almost. <laughs> I do love the animations of the new king though. Like, the bear is such a klutz. Uh, the AoE attack, it just falls over, and this one he accidentally uh, well, spills chocolate on someone he's supposed to give chocolate to, right? But here we do have the King Abyss Ultimate. We're gonna try it out and see how much damage we do against this bot. And just see what um, ult level the King is on, or the Eskinor is on. He does have his ultimate, so hopefully we can kill him. He has a... So he's gonna get two final flames, that's a 3-6 I believe. But we'll do this, this, and just an AoE. That should kill the king and the ban. Oh wow, yeah. And then we get the king victory screen. And then hopefully we can fi face some actual players. And yeah. We can make this video actually interesting, though this king unit isn't really that interesting. And then all players who are actually playing the game are like running the demon team or like attack seal teams and... Just being generally annoying at the moment. The meta at the moment is just so bad. I just hope we can get some new units that will change the meta soon. A Ludo team. He probably won't out CC me with his Ludo because this is his most likely a bot. That's what it feels like. Oh yeah. Three bot matches in a row. Like King doesn't deserve an actual player. I'll just skip. I'll just keep skipping until I find a player. Alright, a demon team. Let's go. 201 KCC that tells me that maybe a bot. Melly did get a nice merge there. That's kind of lucky. And um, yeah, that's a bot. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. All right. So that's been four matches so far. All have been bots. Uh, with the last two, I've actually skipped. That's also a bot. I'm, I'm starting to lose hope in this game. <laughs> This isn't a good way to show off how bad King actually is. Hope this is a player. I just hope this is a player. I even if it's like the most toxic team you can imagine. I, I just hope it's a player. Nope. No, he's not. But I can't really show off how like bad King is by, you know, showing off how I'm winning against every single bot match because, I mean, it's bots. You just have Dian. Dian can solo every single bot. Like, does Champs 1 not have any real players on, like, a Thursday evening? Like, this CC is so low. It's probably a bot, again. Yeah, that's a bot. <laughs> God damn. 
Like, where are the real players? It didn't used to be like this, did it? Like, I've made videos in Champs 1 while facing, like, nearly only players. So I have no idea what this is, like, why I'm facing only bots. As the game go like, oh, you're running king, we'll just pity you for a minute and just give you bot matches. Just so that you won't feel bad about actually pulling for king. Is that what's going on? Because <laughs> if it is, stop that marble. I try, I'm trying to, like, show how bad king actually is and why people shouldn't summon on him. Alright, so it's been half an hour, and if I can't find another player, then... I don't know. Uh, I'm just gonna release the video as it is, but... And then this is gonna be probably the final match in that case. Yeah, it's another bot. God damn it, dude. Why can't I face a player? Please be a player, please be a player. Oh my god, I hate you for running. Oh my god, it's a player! Dude, I'm just gonna lose here. That's what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna lose, and... I'll be happy. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, 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 let's go. <laughs> oh. Now, is that going to disable me? Yeah, he's going for the end. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, actually, he applied two darkness attacks to me. So I'm just going to attack into that Chandler twice with the end. And uh, give myself two more darkness attacks. I think that's gonna be fine. Meliodas will get his true magic buff. But at least my Dian won't get encroached. She can get a little bit of lifesteal back as well. But she might also die from like regular attacks or whatever. She's no longer gonna be encroached. Uh, so that's kind of good. But we'll see here. If she dies, I'll still have all of these cards. Though I do feel like... <laughs> you're, gonna, you're just gonna see the AoE now. It's just gonna completely wreck me even with the damage reduction there. You might just go for a single target. No, silver AoE. Like, look at how squishy King is. Yeah, it's a silver attack with the true magic, but I had, like, no darkness attacks. He hardly had any, like, uh, basic stat increase from any of his units. It was just pure, pure Meliodas, and that's why King is bad. Thank you for watching. But yeah, I finally found a player and I got completely wrecked. So that's what you should honestly expect from King. And I've sat here for 40 minutes now and I finally found a player. <sighs> this game, this game, sometimes it just gets to me. But yeah, that's King. He is kind of bad. Like he can deal a lot of damage. He most definitely can deal a lot of damage. And if I had a built out like Loxenia, if I went like a full fairy team and had Helbram in the back and stuff like that, maybe that would have been better. I don't have a built out Helbram. I don't have a built out Gloxenia. Well, I actually do have a built out Helbram, I think. Is it good enough to have be like a backline unit? No, it doesn't do anything else. What do the other Helbrams do? Uh, nope. Oh, so it's just... A selfish unit, right? And he's only gonna give me 20% basic stats. So I guess like running his elders in the back is of course gonna be a little bit better because it's just gonna give you 24% basic stats. Because the enemies will most likely always have like um, at least like eight debuffs total on them if you if you have like a fairy team with Elaine, uh, this king, and Loxenia. Other than that, uh, running like Diane wasn't the worst idea ever either. Facing off against the bots with that team, like Diane most definitely came in clutch, uh, but that's because it is Diane. Then again, if I would have faced like a real player Meliodas or a real player the one ultimate, I would just get completely wrecked. But anyway, that's it for this video. Hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And yeah, guess I catch you in the next one. Bye. Don't summon for king.